Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a quick recap on what's been going on in the Amari Nicholson case. He was a two-year-old who was living in Las Vegas, Nevada with his mother and her boyfriend. His mother had gone to Colorado to go visit her mother who had been in a horrible accident. She had been attacked by a dog and had some ligaments torn out so she had asked her daughter to come visit her and to bring her son. For whatever reason, Amari's mom Taylor had left him behind with her boyfriend Terrell Rhodes. While in Terrell's care, he claimed that on Wednesday, May 5th, somebody had come to the door and pretended to be Amari's aunt from his father's side. He said that this woman had prearranged with Taylor to pick up Amari and that she already knew and she wouldn't need any of their items from their home. He said that he couldn't get a hold of Taylor immediately and by the time he realized that she wasn't supposed to be taking the baby, that it was too late and he was gone. Amari's mom Taylor claims that as soon as she found out her baby had been kidnapped that she rushed back from Colorado to Las Vegas, Nevada to find her son. At which point the police allowed Taylor and Terrell to have a press conference. And in this press conference, Terrell and his girlfriend Taylor both held tight to the story that they believed Amari had been kidnapped by his aunt. We had no contact with him. About his family No, no contact with any of them. How do you, their relationship, right? Are you guys familiar with anything about their relationship? I mean, how long were they dating, anything like that? No. No, we don't know anything about Taylor or her boyfriend. Like, we have very minimal details. I know he beat on my daughter, and I know he beat on the baby. You know, my family had called CPS. We have pictures of bruises. You know, and CPS never wanted to step in and even drug test either one of them. So, um, did I ever think he would actually murder anybody? You no, no. But I'm not blown back by the fact that he did. Drugs, he's violent and he's on drugs. And, you know, so he did it because the baby peed his pants. Harry Howard says Amari's mom, Taylor Nicholson, who's her daughter, landed in Colorado to help her recover from surgery on April 30th. She tells me they FaceTimed with Amari that night and he seemed happy, but that's the last time she says she saw her grandson. She says in the following days, she did not see her daughter FaceTime with Amari again. Then her daughter said she received a call that he was kidnapped and she rushed back to Las Vegas. She also says she believes her daughter and her boyfriend's story isn't adding up. We are not thinking that your boyfriend who just gave your son away to a stranger, like you, you're not finding anything wrong with that. I'm terrified over here. I'm a freaking mess. I can't sleep, I can't eat, I can't heal. She also tells me Amari was also supposed to visit her in Colorado and she purchased a plane ticket for him, but her daughter decided to leave him in Las Vegas with her boyfriend instead. I called Amari's mother, Taylor Nicholson, today. We briefly talked and when I asked her more about her boyfriend's story, it appears she hung up. Just behind me here at Siegel Suites is where I saw Mari's body being taken away. It's within walking distance of the Emerald Suites where he was reported missing. It appears his body was left behind this wall right here. The scene at Siegel Suites was blocked off, but many people living in the area watched as they say they have been following the disappearance of Amari ever since it happened. There were many tears shed by complete strangers as Amari's body was being loaded up. We kept hearing them say, I love you, Amari. One woman I talked to had just been at the wash up at Cambridge Recreation Center where they were doing a search for Amari. As soon as she heard he was recovered, she rushed to this area at Siegel Suites because she says she didn't want Amari to be alone. Several others who lived in the building also seemed very shocked. Tons of emotions here today, but I also want to add, as the scene here was clearing up, as a crowd gathered at the McDonald's next door where Taylor Nicholson, Amari's mom, seemed to be um, talked to by police. Again, a crowd gathered there. They were screaming and yelling that she should be arrested too, but Nicholson seemed to not show any emotions. So now that his mom's boyfriend has been arrested for killing him, it leaves us the question of why did this happen? Apparently, she had tried to break up with him while she was in Colorado and that he did this in retaliation. 
But without judging her too harshly, it still leaves me the question, why did she leave her son behind with somebody that she was going to break up with? And was she really going to leave him the five weeks that she was gone? Do you think Taylor knew Terrell was hurting her son? And do you think that's why she didn't take him to Colorado? Maybe because he had pre-existing bruises and ailments? I really wonder. And it leaves me with lots of questions.